astigmatism presents a challenge for refractive surgeons. How can this best be treated with LASIK surgery? Well, we are really looking for the perfect treatment. And I describe in detail the reduction of astigmatism by vector planning in my book. The technique of vector planning can be applied to the whole cornea or separately to each half of the cornea using different treatment parameters for the superior and the inferior halves. This aims to regularise the cornea and potentially improve the best corrected vision. Is the regularisation of the cornea based on topographic assessment? The regularisation part of it is purely topography. Actually designing a treatment on the topography to regularise the cornea by treating each half 90 degrees apart. In other words, the two treatments being diametrically vectorially opposite to each other changes the shape but actually doesn't change the refraction. It just improves the shape of the cornea and then reducing it, the irregularity. This is then followed up in the same ablation by a maximal reduction of astigmatism so you get a reduction and a regularisation in the one treatment. Reducing the corneal irregularity reduces the corneal aberrations. Is this the reason for improving the best corrected visual acuity? Yes, I would say that to me, as a corneal specialist and a corneal surgeon, it makes sense to reduce the higher order aberrations. By reducing the amount of irregularity in a cornea, you're going to reduce the higher order aberrations because it's really the irregularity that creates those higher order aberrations. Thank you.